Hey, this is Clean Cut, and we talk about the truth using logic and common sense and stuff. I thought we'd go over a few issues raised by various comments I've received. Today, if people really understood the choice they were making, would they ever choose hell over God? The fact is, this is the kind of choice that we all have to make. We can choose God and allow him to rescue us, or we can choose ourselves and reject God, which ultimately leads us to hell. However, not everyone realizes that this is the kind of choice they're making every day. They look at individual choices as matters of resources, or having to do with their job, their friends, their free time, etc., but forget to consider how these choices affect their relationship with God. So people rarely know exactly what kind of choice they're making when they choose themselves over God. However, does that mean that if people knew for sure that hell existed, all of them would immediately accept God? That seems very unlikely for a couple of big reasons. Throughout history, there have been wars and revolutions, toppling powerful regimes or failing to topple them. The attacks against ancient Rome were incessant, even though none of them really worked. Why? It's because when man is faced with a pure ultimatum, submit or perish, his instinct leads him to rebel. Evil men value their license and enjoy describing it as freedom. They would view any clear and intrusive authority figure as a threat to that, and probably rightly so. I could list dozens of famous people in history who would have chosen hell over God if the choice had been given to them clearly, but I'll start with only a few. Immanuel Kant, Napoleon, Ayn Rand. All men have moral views, and when they shape their moral views wrongly, they'll sometimes even attack God to avoid having to change them. That's the case whether the truth is made clear to them about what they're doing or not. Think about the rhetoric in modern books and movies. When the heroic rebels or daring holdouts are facing overwhelming odds which threaten everything they've built, do they stop and reconsider their position? Do they question whether they might have been wrong? No. They say, I'll probably lose, but I'm going to make a fight of it, and because it's fiction and they're supposed to be the good guys, they usually win. In real life, it rarely ends so happily. Rebels are usually crushed, and resistances frequently fail. When the resistance or rebellion is against God, it's guaranteed to fail. But nevertheless, the arrogant rebel leader who can't let go of his pride continues to press on against the odds, and because he's wrong, it doesn't work out for him. Being humble can carry a lot of weight with God, but being stubborn accomplishes nothing at all to him. And many, many people are stubborn enough to face God directly and tell him he's wrong. I feel so sorry for those people. So, in conclusion, there are plenty of good reasons to think that even if people knew what they were rejecting, many would still choose to go to hell rather than cooperate with God. Next, is it possible for nothing to exist? That's all for now, so keep asking questions and... Ah... Uh...